Standard 6, Subject Maths, Chapter 13, Profit Loss, Practice Set 34. In this practice set, we will be using given information to frame and solve word problems based on person profit or loss. So, all we have to do is, whatever information is given in the question, we will have to first form a word problem. Okay, we will have to frame it using sentences and then we are going to solve and find out whether it is person profit or person loss. Practice set 34. Question 1. Cost price is given and selling price is given. We will have to frame the word problem. So, let us write a solution. Sanju bought goods worth Rs. 1600. So, your cost price was given 1600. We assumed and framed a word problem saying Sanju bought goods worth Rs. 1600. And sold them for Rs. 2800. What was his profit in percentage? So, this way we have framed the question itself in the solution first. Now that we have framed our question, we will start solving it. Cost price is equal to Rs. 1600. Selling price is equal to Rs. 2800. Formula for profit, selling price minus cost price is equal to 2800 minus 1600 is equal to Rs. 1200 is a profit. Now, our second part of the sum will be to solve the profit and find out in percentage. Now, we have found out profit, we have to find its percent. So, we will be using the formula for profit percentage. Let Sanju make profit of X percent. Therefore, profit percentage formula we write as profit percentage is equal to profit upon CP into 100. So, now X is equal to substitute the values profit is 1200, cost price is 1600 into 100. When you reduce the zeros and you divide 1200 by 16, you will get X is equal to 75%. Final answer, Sanju made a profit of 75%. So, what we have done here, we have first form or framed the word problem and then solved it to find a percentage of profit. Question number 2. Cost price is equal to rupees 2000, selling price is equal to rupees 1900. Only this much information is given. Let us frame the word problem solution. Rakhi bought books worth rupees 2000. You can use any name, your name, your friend's name, okay, and sold them for rupees 1900. What was her loss in percentage? So let's solve. We will first find loss using the formula for loss, and then we will find the loss in percentage. So, loss to find out, we write the cost price, selling price, and loss formula. And then substitute the values. Loss is equal to cost price minus selling price is equal to 2000 minus 1900 is equal to rupees 100. Now we will assume the percentage to be X percent and then we will find out the percentage of loss. So let Rakhi incur a loss of X percent. Loss percentage formula is equal to loss upon CP into 100. Therefore, X is equal to loss is 100 upon cost price 2000 in 200. Reduce the zeros, you will get 10 upon 2, which is equal to 5. Therefore, X is equal to 5%. Final answer, Rakhi suffered a loss of 5%. So, this way it is a very simple sum. You have to frame the word problem using name statement. And then you have to solve and find out if it's loss then loss and its percentage if it's profit then the profit and its percentage question number three cost price of eight articles is rupees 1200 each selling price rupees 1400 each that means when we multiply each by eight we will get that cost price and that particular selling price let's frame a word problem first 
Pallavi bought eight tables for rupees twelve hundred each and sold them for rupees fourteen hundred each. What was the percentage of a profit or loss? We don't know it's profit or loss. So we put in the question itself. What was the percentage of a profit or loss? Let's solve. So cost price of one table is equal to rupees 1200. Therefore cost price of eight tables is equal to 1200 multiplied by eight is equal to rupees 9600. We got the cost price. Now let's have a look at the selling price. We will have to multiply selling price also by 8. So selling price of 1 table is equal to Rs. 1400. Selling price of 8 tables is equal to 1400 into 8 is equal to 11,200 rupees. We can see selling price is greater. Therefore it is a profit. So selling price is greater than the cost price. Therefore Pallavi made a profit. Let us assume a percentage to be X person. So therefore Profit is equal to, first we will find the profit. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price is equal to 11,200 minus 9,600 is equal to rupees 1,600. 1,600 that is 1,600 is the profit. Now, let Pallavi make a profit of X percent. Now, formula for profit percentage is equal to profit upon CP into 100. So, X is equal to profit is 1600, cost price 9600 into 100. On reducing the zeros and dividing 1600 by 96, you get X is equal to 50 upon 3. Now, 50 upon 3, we will have to form the mixed number and write it in percentage. Therefore, X is equal to 16, 2 upon 3 percent. 50 when you divide by 3. You get the question remainder upon divisor as a mixed number. So final answer, Pallavi made a profit of 16.2 upon 3%. Okay, this is how we have solved this word problem. First, we found out the profit and then we found the profit percentage. Question number 4. Cost price of 50 kg grain rupees 2000. Selling price is rupees 43 per kg. Now, we know that cost price of entire 50 kg grain is given, but selling price is given per kg. So, we will multiply by 50 and then we will find entire selling price. And then we will come to know it is a profit or a loss. So, let's first frame the word problem. Ramesh bought 50 kg grain for rupees 2000 and sold it at the rate of rupees 43 per kg. Find the percentage of profit or loss. We don't know whether it's profit or loss. So we write find the percentage of profit or loss. Answer. Cost price of 50 kg grains is equal to rupees 2000. Selling price of 1 kg grains is given rupees 43. Therefore selling price of entire 50 kg grains is equal to 43 into 50 is equal to rupees 2150. Now we can see that the selling price is greater than the cost price. Hence it is a profit. Ramesh made a profit. Profit is equal to formula selling price minus cost price is equal to 2150 minus 2000 is equal to rupees 150 is the profit. Now we will have to assume the profit percentage of Ramesh to be X. So let Ramesh make profit of X percent. Write the formula for profit percentage is equal to profit upon CP into 100. Profit, we just got 150. So, X is equal to 150 upon the cost price is 2000 into 100. Reduce the zeros, you will be left with 15 upon 2, which is equal to 7, 1 upon 2 percent. Final answer, Ramesh made a profit of 7, 1 upon 2 percent question number five cost price is rupees eight thousand six hundred transport charges rupees 250 portage rupees 150 selling price rupees ten thousand so let's first frame a word problem Farooq bought a fridge for rupees eight thousand six hundred he spent rupees 250 on transport and rupees 150 on portage if he sold 
the fridge for rupees ten thousand. What was his person profit or loss? So this way we have framed the word problem based on the amounts given in the question. Now let's have a look at the solution further. Total cost price of a fridge we have to find out, which is equal to cost of fridge plus transportation cost plus potage is equal to eight thousand six hundred plus two fifty plus one fifty is equal to nine thousand is our total cost price. Selling price is given directly to be ten thousand. Selling price is greater than the cost price. Therefore, it is a profit. We can say Farooq made a profit. So profit is equal to selling price minus total cost price is equal to ten thousand minus nine thousand is equal to rupees one thousand is the profit made by Farooq. Now we have to assume that let the profit percentage of Farooq be X percent. So let Farooq make a profit of X percent on cost price. So now we have the formula for profit percentage is equal to profit upon CP into hundred. So x is equal to profit is thousand rupees cost price nine thousand into hundred. Reduce the number of zeros, you will get x is equal to hundred upon nine. Hundred divided by nine when you convert into a mixed number after division you will get eleven one upon nine. So you will write x is equal to eleven one upon nine percent. Therefore, Farooq made a profit of eleven one upon nine percent. Last question, question number six. Seeds worth rupees twenty thousand five hundred, labor rupees nine thousand seven hundred, chemicals and fertilizers rupees five thousand six hundred, selling price rupees twenty eight thousand six hundred and forty. So let's begin by framing a word problem. Solution: Ramchandra bought sunflower seeds worth rupees twenty thousand five hundred. He spent rupees nine thousand seven hundred on labor. And rupees five thousand six hundred on chemicals and fertilizers. He sold it for rupees twenty eight thousand six hundred and forty. What is the percentage of profit or loss? So we will have to first find the total cost price. Selling price is given already. So let's find the total cost price. Total cost price is equal to cost of seeds plus labor cost plus cost of chemicals and fertilizers is equal to twenty thousand five hundred. Plus nine thousand seven hundred plus five thousand six hundred is equal to rupees total thirty five thousand eight hundred is the total cost price. Selling price is equal to rupees twenty eight thousand six forty. Which one is greater? Cost price is greater. That means it is a loss. So you will write the total cost price is greater than the selling price. Therefore, Ramchandra suffered a loss. Loss formula. Loss is equal to total cost price minus selling price is equal to thirty five thousand eight hundred minus twenty eight thousand six hundred and forty is equal to rupees seven thousand one hundred and sixty. Now that we know our loss, we can say that let Ramchandra incur a loss of X percent. Formula for loss percentage is equal to loss upon CP into hundred. X is equal to Seven thousand one hundred and sixty, which is the loss upon the cost price thirty five thousand eight hundred into hundred. Reduce the number of zeros, and on further division, you get seven one six zero upon three five eight. After reducing the zeros, then you divide seven one six zero upon divide by three five eight. You get equal to twenty. That means x is equal to twenty percent. Write the final statement. Ramchandra incurred a loss of twenty percent. So this way, in this practice set, we have used the given information to frame the word problem first, and then we have solved. If it's a profit, then we have found the profit and its percentage. If it's loss, you have to find the loss and then its percentage. Okay. So do practice the sums well in your book. Stay safe. Keep learning. and with this we have completed our chapter 13 based on profit and loss thank you